discuss the significance of the lion and bull figures in indian mythology art and architecture now how just think for 2 seconds how would you divide this question so there are two ways in which you could divide this question look through that so the question is discuss right so the keyword again you don't have to criticize a lot but you have to tell in detail what is the significance of bull and horse bull and lion figures in indian mythology art and architecture so you will discuss discuss hamesha examples ke sath aata hai relevant examples ke sath in the previous question also gupta and chola you have to mention uh, the gupta caves you have to mention the chola brihadeshwar temple you have to give these concurrent examples out there in order to add value to your points so similarly here we will divide this yeah, introduction could be general uh, you could write how probably you know animals have had a significant or you could write that the linkage of humans and natural species or animals has been seen has been seen from indus valley civilization to modern culture so this will give you a start where we are telling that animals have been significant in indian culture in indian art and heritage and culture since the period of ivc which was like the beginning till today uh, the modern paintings as well now here we will divide the question into because the question is about lion and bull figures so we will write the significance of lion and now what i would have done i would have subdivided it into mythology art and architecture significance of lion for mythology here you you tell basic information uh, for example it it is a symbol of symbol of power and strength strength and uh, probably you write here a point and then you would give a example goddess durga's vahana and similarly in indian mythology uh, lions are considered to be a uh, to be the narsimha avatar that we talk about constantly so you have to use all your general knowledge or whatever you've been hearing so i remembered that we hear about narsimha avatar where you know half god and half uh, lion is what an avatar is considered for a for the god so you can write ki avatar of god avatar of god example so those nine avatars that we talk about uh, these are the evolution of uh, human space also like how the humans evolved how the gods evolved so you could also mention evolution of mythological evolution of mythological gods and goddesses and then you could give example of narsimha so this is how you will divide similarly you will keep it here for uh, art art mein kahan kahan lion use hota hai art mein lion ki paintings hoti hain is uh, is there any sculpture uh, for lion yes we'll talk about that also so here the significant difference that i want to tell you is what i did was i uh, wrote sculptures also here uh and here i mentioned how in the sarnath pillar there is a lion and i drew that sarnath pillar i cannot draw it abhi but there i had drawn here there was a uh, a bacchus and everything i had drawn here and i have mentioned here how these are the lions 
so they also uh, represent what we say your you know indian history and they also mention the indian they, because they are a part of a national emblem they are a part of our culture like they are ingrained in our culture so this is a unique thing that you can do and this i had done for uh, the bull part also so for the bull part similarly significance of bull you will divide it into mythology you will divide it into art and you will divide it into architecture and then respectively you will mention the points here you will give examples so here for example you could talk about how bull is shiva's vahana right or in art uh you can mention the seeds that were there during the ibc time the bull seeds and architecture dravida architecture and here i had drawn uh, that here if for some reason and here the dravida temple so this was considered as the gatekeeper to so bull in dravida vahans uh, in dravida architecture are considered as the protector of the temple and the protector of the people so you will mention here the gatekeeper this is the bull and you will mention protector of the people so this is the significance that you will keep talking about here also when you will say shiva's vahana you will not just write it down you will write a statement before it that uh, source of strength or in indian mythology uh the communicator between citizens of people and the god so this is how you tell significance and tell it in plain simple language don't uh, try to you know complicate it by using jargons just write it in simple language because the examiner at the other end is also an indian and they'll know what you want to say so here the focus should be on presenting the thing a uh, better and dividing it well